Okay, so for you to be able to buy coins, you're going to need to convert your country's fiat into one of these following coins here. But most people use USDT coins. The USDT is what we call a stable coin. It's the closest one to the US dollar. So if you want to trade one dollar for one dollar, for example, USDT is your best alternative. Now, in order to buy crypto, all you need to do is click the buy crypto tab. You could buy with credit card in some countries, not all of them. But if you cannot buy with your credit card, most of the time you could do it through P2P trading. So P2P trading is bank transfers, basically. So me personally, I'm in Canada, so I use the P2P trading. So once I click here, basically, I make sure that I'm, I, I'm in USDT. I select my country's currency. I enter the amount of money. So for example, I could want to buy $1,000 Canadian and convert it to USDTs. And the, the payment option in my case is interact transfer. It's basically a bank transfer. But again, it, this here goes with your country currency. So when you're going to select your country currency, whatever is available for you to use is going to be here. So in my case, as I said, I was using e-transfer. So here, for one USDT, I would need to pay $1.25 in this case. Now, just so you understand here, if I buy for $1,000 and the seller has over $1,000 available, then you're good to go. You can select that seller. But you'll notice here that the balance is lower. It's 404 USDTs is about $500 Canadian. So you wouldn't be able to buy USDTs from this guy in this case because he sold a lot of his inventory already. Okay, so you need to find somebody that has more than what you want to buy, obviously. So the second thing you want to check is the complete completion percentage. See, this guy doesn't complete this transaction most of the time. So that means that you're just wasting time. So you want to look for people that have above 90%. And in this case, for example, I said a thousand. So you want to make sure that, you know, there's, they can cover your $1,000 Canadian in this case and convert it to USDT. So here, this guy made 120 orders and 100% completion. So he would be somebody that is trustworthy. So in this case, I would select this guy and go and buy my USDTs. It's as simple as that. Then you just need to follow the instructions that are here, depending on you know what selection of payment you want to work with. So buying crypto is as simple as that. Now, what makes it safe is that Binance is always going to be the intermediary between you and the person who sells you the USDT. So this makes your transaction with them safe. You will never get scammed or lose money if you follow the proper instructions and do what I just showed you. Now, again, the payment method could be different from one country to the other. The banks are different from one country to the other. But what you need to understand here is that every time you want to buy crypto, you make sure you, you first select your currency, then your method of payment, and obviously how much you want to buy in your own currency. And from there, you just need to follow the instructions. So it's as simple as that to buy crypto. And when you're going to have USDT, that's when you're going to be able to buy coins. And I'm going to show that to you in the next video. Please move on to the next part of the training.